Today I'm going to show you how to make a tomato cream sauce. This recipe is fast and really very simple. So first let's get our mise en place ready. You need one tablespoon of olive oil, two to three cloves of minced garlic, two cups of canned crushed tomatoes, a quarter teaspoon of salt, an eighth of a teaspoon of ground black pepper, a quarter teaspoon of onion powder, and a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, and one teaspoon each of dried basil, oregano, and parsley. To finish the sauce off, we're going to need a half a cup of heavy cream and, and four basil leaves cut into a chiffonade. That's optional because there are already some dried herbs in there, but it gives great flavor. And one tablespoon of minced parsley for garnish. I have one and a half tablespoons of salt ready for my one gallon of boiling water. I also have one pound of pasta ready to go into the boiling water. So my water has come up to a boil and I wait for my water to come up to a boil before I add my salt because the salt will increase that boiling temperature which means it will take much longer for it to come to a boil. I'm gonna add my pasta to the water once I've added my salt and I'm going to stir the pasta. This will prevent them from sticking during the cooking process. You wanna go back in about a minute to stir them again, just to make sure that they aren't sticking. I'm gonna cook these according to the package directions, which is about nine to 11 minutes for al dente, but I'm going to also taste them to test for doneness. I'm just gonna show you how to chiffonade basil. The best way to chiffonade basil is after you clean and dry your leaves, you put them in a stack. And after they are in a stack, what you do is you roll them together in a small bunch. This helps them all stay together during the cutting process. Now a chiffonade is a ribbon cut. So it's a thin slice of the basil leaf. You're going to use your guiding hand to not only hold the basil together, but also to help you predict that next cut. So that's a chiffonade of basil. Nice thin ribbon cuts. So let's get that sauce going. The sauce takes about six minutes to prepare after we have all of our mise en place ready. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our two to three cloves of garlic and put it into a pan with one tablespoon of olive oil. You can see that my pan was already hot. As soon as I put in garlic, the garlic starts to sizzle. Now this is why you need to have all of your mise en place ready because once you put that garlic in, you only have about 30 seconds and it may start burning. As soon as you smell that beautiful aroma of garlic, you're ready for the next stage. And the next step is going to be adding your crushed tomatoes. Just be careful when you add these to the pan because the pan is hot and the tomatoes will start to boil almost instantly. We're gonna stir the garlic into the tomatoes and we're gonna start to let it simmer. While it is simmering, we are going to add our dried herbs and our other seasonings. So in goes our dried parsley, oregano, and basil, as well as our salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. We're gonna stir it to incorporate these ingredients and we're just gonna let it simmer low for about five minutes. So we want to cook the tomatoes, we wanna to reconstitute our dried herbs, and we wanna really just get a nice flavor from our sauce. After about five minutes, we're gonna add our cream and basil chiffonade, and we're gonna let it simmer. You'll notice the longer we let it simmer, the darker in color it will become. The reason for this is because as it simmers, the water from the sauce and the cream is evaporating and the color of the sauce becomes more concentrated. After about three or four minutes of low simmering, you can taste for seasoning and your pasta should be ready. You should taste that also. And now we're going to add our pasta to the sauce. Instead of draining our pasta and pouring it into the sauce, we're actually ladling it in with a uh, 
slotted skimmer or a strainer ladle, whatever you would like to call this tool. It goes by both names. We're gonna reserve our pasta water because if our sauce became too thick and we needed to thin it out, we're gonna use some of that liquid to help thin out our sauce. The reason we use this water is because it is already hot. It's also seasoned with that salt and has the flavor of the pasta in it. So it will not dilute your sauce or lessen the flavor of your sauce. I like to change to a metal spoon to mix the sauce with the uh, pasta and then serve it topped with a little bit of fresh parsley and some grated Parmesan cheese. The addition of chicken or shrimp would really top off this meal and make it spectacular. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell for notifications for when we post new videos.